Mr. DSET, what's going on? So today we're gonna do something interesting. We are going to show you guys how easy it is to repair our Pro FR6. We're back here where we usually do our recones. The FR6 is the one people uh, famously know as the silver tip. So I got the guys back here getting ready. We have a couple of them on the table. We're gonna tear one apart. Then we're gonna show you the recone and how easy it is to assemble it and recone it. So stay tuned. What's up guys? So you already saw the process because this does have a process. Now he has to clean up the speaker. First he starts cutting off the damaged speaker. Then he has to clean all the residue, all the leftover of the glue, making sure the speaker has nothing uh, there. It's not dirty that when we apply the new glue, everything's going to be normal. You can see here we have the recone already. So let's open the recone. So we can show them exactly what's in the box. All right, so here we have a recone and we have the speaker basket. Let's move this out of the way. So what he does is after he cleans, making sure there's nothing left over, he drops in the recone, making sure the recone falls like a glove inside. Perfect, right? He moves it around, there's nothing rubbing. There's a gasket that he also has to glue on. He makes sure it's the same size. But to be sure, we grab one of these centers, how they call them. Let's give you this one. And he tucks it in before he glues it. So no, no glue will fall into the voice coil. So the speaker is centered properly. You see, centered properly. So it's good to go. So he does this with the whole process. In this case, we're, he's fixing about 16 of them, but now he has to go and prepare the glue for all 16. So I'll show you guys, once the glue's back, you'll see when we start applying the glue, then he solders back the tensile leads to the actual basket. Then we let it dry for a couple of hours. Once it's dry, we go to the bench table, we test it out. With power, we test it out with music. So stay tuned for more. All right, guys, here we go. Here's where he starts applying the glue. Gently, slowly, very patiently, making sure he covers every single part of the area. He starts off with the suspension. I moved out of his way so he can concentrate. Now he moved up to the bottom, to the top of the basket where the top part of the suspension lays flat and the gasket lays flat. Does it slowly to make sure everything is covered in glue, not too much glue. You don't want that looking, having a mess up there. He applies a little bit more glue before putting on the gasket. Now, final touch, the gasket, he makes sure he aligns them properly where the screws go. As you can see, he flipped it over so that the counterweight of the speaker helps the glue maintain. Now we're gonna do the same process with the Pro FR6 Neo. One last time he test fits it, then he starts applying the glue on the bottom part of the suspension first. Now 
then we do the top. Quick reminder guys, you have to clean completely all the spots where you're gonna apply the glue. So you make sure there's nothing left over. No residue, no old glue, no pieces of paper, pieces of cone, nothing. Make sure it stays spotless. And as the same process, he applies a little bit more glue right before applying, uh, adding the gasket right on top of it. All right, guys, the process is done. These guys at DSET, technical su support guys, they know what they're doing. All they had to do is clean out the speaker, make sure they have no residues in. Then they added the cone, they centered it, they glued it back together. Then he soldered the, the tensile leads to the connector. He's playing with them now. We test it out for music. We, popped up, we used a, a popping test, making sure the cone is centered and hey, if you have a blown FR6 Neo or a blown Neo 6, we got the Ricos. Make sure you guys check them out. Thank you guys for tuning in. I'm Mr. DS18, and we like it loud. <laughs>